Hello everyone, welcome back to my video. Yes, you read the title. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a mommy and stuff for Google Attack. This is episode 2 for no one, and there are some basic and stuff how to add a button. So, if you go right here and want to add a button, so here's what to do. First, what you gotta do, you need to copy this thing and make sure to paste it. And now, if I want to, to create sticky platforms, for example, and it's like, I'm going to change it to sticky platforms as well. So, basically, what you gotta do, you need to go on mods and make sure to find that platforms thing, like here. Now you wanna copy this. This is like a tutorial, so yeah. Now, basically, what you gotta do, you need to go in here. And yes, she basically gives you, like, free mods like that. And now, I'm gonna change it to sticky platforms, except for us. And make sure to change if this platforms to false and for sticky platforms to be false as well. And if I basically want to make it like um, sticky platforms, you want to make that true, as you can see, and go back to risk menu. So basically, what you're going to do, you need to remove this and make sure to change it to sticky platform. And that's how to add a button, as you can see. You can also change it to anything you want, like make sure to be an exact mod. So yeah. And if I want a head spin, you can go in here. So basically, you need to copy that as well. And boom, now if you want to change it to head spin and you want to change it to head spin, and I'm going to change it to head spin, as you can see. This is like an example how to make a mod menu and stuff. And if you want to get more mods, you want to go back and go to post your codes. And this is where you get mods like this. And for example, if I want like secondary disconnect, or anti band variation 2, I'm going to use this like this and go into mods like this. And also, make sure to paste it as well, and boom, you create an anti band version 2. When I go to wrist menu, and if you want to add a story thing into settings, you want to copy this and you want to paste it in here. Basically, what you're going to do, if you want to change it, it can be perfect. I gotta change it to anti band and I gotta change it anti and I gotta change it to anti band version 2. As you can see, and also credits to the sky so I won't get cancelled or something. Yeah. And also, the last final tip is building. So basically, what you're gonna do, you need to go on build and go on build solution. Now, if it says one succeeded, but if it says zero succeeded and zero failed, you need to fix something. Now you want to right click Shiba GT template, go on open folder, um, file explorer. Basically you need to go on bin, go on debug, and then you should be here. And as I said, find that Shiba GT file, like I'm looking for it right now. Now as you can see, there might be a Shiba GT template right here, but for me it isn't here. So basically you can drag that folder in here and go on into plugins like this i know i already have it but i will just put place it because i already showcased them on my menu now you can change it whatever you want like this and boom you already make a mod menu now you can continue more making a mod menu so this was a tutorial how to make a mod menu if you think this video was helpful please consider liking and subscribing and thank you guys for 1200 subscribers now see you later and happy new year